Hello everyone. Welcome to PS Galaxy. In our last video, we have already discussed about land. In this video, we will discuss the second topic that is soil. So let's start. What is soil? Soil is the thin uppermost layer of the earth's crust in which plants grow. It consists of organic and inorganic materials, water and air. Now, as we know what is soil, let us see how soil is formed. There are total five factors which affect the formation of soil. The first one is the parent rock. It is the rocky layer which is at the bottom of the soil and is responsible for the color and texture of the soil. Next factor is the relief. It is nothing but a topography. In other words, it is the shape of the land, whether it is in the high altitude or a slope which determine the accumulation of soil. The third factor is the flora, fauna and microorganism as it determines the humus contained in the soil. Let me tell you what is humus. Humus is nothing but dead decay matter of plants and animals. They are very important as they act like natural fertilizer. The fourth factor is time as it takes a lot of time for a big piece of rock to convert into a nice thick layer of soil and it is possible because of weathering. And what is weathering? It is the process of breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces are then gradually mixed with organic matter. And the last factor is the climate. Temperature determines rainfall and with the help of rainfall, the process of weathering increases because if there is a lot of rainfall, rainwater will accumulate and when water will accumulate, it wants to move here and there. And when it moves, it will carry a lot of soil along with itself. So this was all about factors that affect soil formation. Now let us move to soil profile. Soil profile refers to layers of soil which are called horizons. For example, if we dug a one meter deep pit in the ground, we can see the different layers or horizon of soil. Soil profile may vary from place to place. Main layers of soil are horizon O, this is the surface layer which is composed of organic material like plants, roots, fallen leaves, humus and dead insect. Horizon A. Below the horizon O lies the horizon A which contains fine weathered rocks, minerals, nutrients, humus and organic matter. Most minerals and nutrients in this layer are washed out through leaching. Now, what is leaching? It means removing materials from the soil by the process of water moving through it. Now, horizon B. It lies below horizon A and is made up of small weathered rocks. Here, some of the minerals from horizon A drains down and get accumulated. The last one is the horizon C, which is comprised mainly of small rocks from which the upper soil is formed. Now, let's discuss about the type of soil. Most soil are made up by a combination of basic three components that is sand, silt and clay. How the soil looks and feels depend upon the amount of sand, silt and clay contained in a particular soil type. Now let's see what are the major soil types found in India. First is the alluvial soil. This soil is made up of fine silt and is very fertile. This type of soil is useful for crop cultivation. It is found in the river basin in northern plain of India. Second is the black soil. It is made up of igneous rock and is rich in mineral content. It is very fertile and especially suitable for growing cotton. This type of soil is found in the northwestern part of Deccan. Third is the red soil. It is formed from crystalline igneous rocks and contain oxidize of iron that give it a red color. It is not very fertile, but crop can be cultivated after adding fertilizers to it. It is found in the southeastern part of the Deccan Plateau where there is low rainfall. Fourth is the lateral soil. It is found in areas having high rainfall as it is formed when heavy rainfall washed away the upper layer of soil. It is not very fertile. It is made up of clay and rich in oxidize of iron and aluminium. It is found on the hills of Deccan, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh and Western Ghat. Fifth is the desert soil. 
It is porous, saline and sandy. A variety of crops can be grown with the help of good water supply. This type of soil is found in parts of Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan. The last one is the mountain soil. This type of soil is found in the valleys and on hill slope in the Himalayan region. The characteristic and humus content of this soil may vary with altitude. Now let's discuss about soil erosion. Soil erosion is the process by which the upper layer of soil is removed from the earth's surface and the reason it happened is because of both human and natural factors. The important factors that leads to soil erosion are deforestation, overgrazing, overcropping, overuse of chemical fertilizers or pesticide, rain wash, landslides and floods. So now let's talk about the method of soil conservation. So, the first method is called afforestation. Afforestation means planting trees and plants in areas where the vegetation cover has been removed. The second method is terrace farming. It is a method in which terrace or steps are built on the slopes of mountains where crops are cultivated on each terrace. These steps reduce the intensity of free-flowing rainwater and the plants prevent the soil from being washed away. Third is the contour plowing. In this method, crops are grown across the slope and along the contours of the land. Here, contours means a boundary or border which is usually curved in shape. It checks the flow of water. Fourth is the controlled grazing. It is very important nowadays to regulate how much and how often to graze the cattle as it helps the grass to grow back again which prevents soil erosion. Fifth is the building of dams. Dams should be built to check the speed of flowing water. This would control flood and check soil erosion. Last but not the least is crop rotation. This is a method where planting of different crops in succession on the same piece of land is practiced to improve soil fertility. This type of method helps to conserve the nutrients of the soil in a natural way. So that's all for today. We have come to the end of this video. I hope now you understood what is soil, formation of soil, soil profile, types of soil, soil erosion, and lastly, method of soil conservation. In our next video, we shall continue with this chapter and discuss about the third natural resource that is water. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.